All right, Floss Tube. Um, you found my channel. This is Mandy at Mandy Means Stitches. Um, this is my YouTube channel about cross stitch. Um, welcome. Today is Saturday, oh, November seventh. Um, it is about seven thirty in the morning. Um, I'm trying to get this in before my kids wake up. So I might get interrupted, but it's definitely going to be short because I don't know if I have much time. <laughs> Um, let's see, it's been about a week, I think, since my last video. How much has happened? Uh, we had, no, we had Halloween. I think it was Halloween that I filmed last, so nothing really new. Um, otherwise, my, my, uh, baby turned one the day after Halloween, and we didn't do anything really special, just, uh, a family birthday, kind of, essentially. Um, no friends or anything, um, and yeah, that was fun, um, otherwise I've just been working, I feel like I worked a lot this week, I'm kind of tired, um, I'm gonna have to work tomorrow, but, oh, that is what it is, um, so let's get into the cross stitch, I, um, have a few things that I, I think I showed you them as finishes last week, and then I, I just wound up FFOing them um, I think after the video that day, I'm not sure. But I thought I'd show you those first. Um, oh, that's so nice. So let's see, this first one, this was from my end of the bed box. Um, uh, plastic pumpkin stitchery. It's stitched on a piece of 14 count, like sparkly uh, Ada that I got from Hobby Lobby. Um, I mounted it on mat board, and then I put some, this is, um, Lori Holt vintage trim. This was like a, it's a little wood, um, it's actually a sticker that I got either in the dollar section at Michael's or, um, the Dollar Tree. And, uh, yeah, I just finished it as a magnet. I didn't finish the back, and I, I, uh, Put it on my fridge. So that's cute. Um, I like I like that finish, and I'm probably I'm probably gonna do that with a couple other like like the housewives cups. Um, I kind of didn't really know how to finish those, and I saw somebody on uh, gosh, I think it was their their Facebook group stitching with the housewives um, that finished their things as magnets, and I thought it was cute, so I'm gonna copy that. Um, this is another thing I ever thought I saw you I finished stitching it last year, I think last year, and I um, just decided to FFO. I have a lot of these seasonal sayings from, from the Frosted Pumpkins, and so I finished quite a few of them on this little, I think I got this at Joann's, yeah, Joann's. Um, it's supposed to be a photo frame, obviously, but I got it, I don't know, two years ago now. Um, and let's see. It's stitched, this is stitched on a piece of 14 count Ada, it's like a beige color, it's using a color for DMC, um, I finished it on a mat board, and then I put some, this is another Lori Holt vintage trim, um, and this is cute, it's not super like foo-foo-y, but I kind of, I'm realizing that I don't like a whole, whole lot of bows and whatnot, I like little little crack, crafty thingies, but um, and then last, I just, um, I fulfilled this on the, this is the frame that, uh, was being sold on Lula May Designs Facebook group. They kind of made it specifically for this, this season from Stitching with the Housewives. Um, I just finished it on that board and then made this little bow with a punk and it's all hot glue on there. This, this piece is magneted on there, but. Um, yeah, I like that. And this kind of hangs in my doorway. Oh, it's fun. I gotta start December before December gets here. <laughs> and then I have um, one, one finish that I think I showed you as a whip last time. This is the piece, uh, Stitch with the Housewives, What's in My Cup Cobble, um, stitched on 14 count chalkboard black. It's, it's, Mm, kind of half the colorful colors, half from stash. 
Um, I messed up on the turkey with the colors. This belly is supposed to be one like a shade lighter. And then this belly color is supposed to be this. And then there's another darker brown in here that, that almost looks black on the camera, but uh, I wasn't going to rip out the belly after I stitched it and realized it was in the wrong colors, so it's okay. It turned out fine. I'm going to finish this one as a magnet and put it on my fridge. I just didn't get around to it yet. And so now I've got a few whips. This is another um, Stitch with the Housewives. This one's called Santa's Helper. Um, I don't want to answer the picture because <laughs> I'm being lazy today. But um, it's the one of their What's in My Cup series. Um, these are the colors I'm using. It's it's not the call for, I don't think. Maybe the yellow and the green are, but I kind of just pulled from Stash. But the, the red is red apple, and it actually is a little bit more Christmas red. Um, here's how far I've gotten. This is actually a piece of 16 count chalkboard um, data. It was just a scrap, obviously. I can't remember what I cut it off of. But um, it's a scrap, and I actually like how kind of little it is. Um, so there's that. They just released uh, yesterday the two new, two new cuts that I'm going to get and stitch those, except for the one that's a tree with um, the chickens stringing the lights. I'm going to change it to this little rain, to a couple of these little reindeers. I'm not going to like pre-chart it ahead of time. I'm just going to kind of wing it because I don't have any kind of charting system and I don't really care to invest the time to do that. I'm just going to try it. Um, this next project, so I was kind of on a starting Start all the things week. Um, I don't know why, but I just felt like I was in the mood to start stuff and I have a whole bunch of projects kitted and I feel like what's the purpose of having them kitted if I'm not, you know, but it's the same as starting them versus just having them kitted up if they're, they're both still just sitting there. So um, I'm going to worry less about having specific days to start something. And I actually thought about trying to start a new project every day in November. Um, and I was going to hashtag it new start November or something like that. But I haven't been starting something new every day. I've just been stitching on what I want to stitch as usual. So anyways, there's a couple new starts in my whip collection. Um, but this one was also haul. It's uh, called Turkey Bay by Plum Street Samplers. Two Martini Stitcher showed this recently on her floss tube, and that was cute. So I went to one, two, three, stitch, and I put it up, or I ordered it with the floss. So here's here's the fancy floss. Um, and then this was this was my start on it. I uh, it stitched on this is a twenty eight count Witchell linen called. Um, China Pearl. There it is. I think my needle fell out of it. Uh oh. Maybe it's in the bag. Um, yeah, 28 count linen China Pearl by Witchell. And I actually really like stitching on this Witchell linen. It's stiff, but the holes are pretty big, so it's easy to stitch on. Um, and the color, I really like the color. So that was, um, that's good. Yes, that's the last one, you know, one of the bag. And this bag was also haul, um, because you can't buy happiness, but you can buy fabric. Like, true, and I was in back for the shop. Back for the shop, where did I want to stop? Um, let's see. Oops. Sorry, I was trying to put stuff away. Um, okay. Next, this, I think I showed you this as haul um, last week, and I was kind of trying to decide what to stitch it on. I attempted to stitch on a 25 count one over one, and I really disliked it, so I am not going to do that. Um, this is called Red Christmas by, 
Garden Privé that was released recently. Um, I bought it as a PDF from her site. And then I have this big giant piece of 18 count um, Ada that was white that I ended up tea dyeing, or not tea dyeing, I ended up writ dyeing with um, pearl gray, I think is the color. And I really like how it turned out. So it's actually, I started in the top right corner. This is uh, one strand of fancy floss over, over one uh, box of Ada. X, yeah, box of Ada. Um, and so just a little, just a little start. This piece is pretty big. I think on 18 count it's going to be 12 by 12. So not, not a huge start, but I really like the way the color turned out on this, this dye that I did. And, and then here's, these are all the fancy, my fancy flosses that I'm going to use, just three shades of green. I think it'll be pretty. Um, and then I showed this in haul last time, but this is a, um, a uh, So Much to Love project bag. Christmas theme. Okay, next. This was also fall. Um, I was really excited. I think I talked about this one. I got it from um, Needlecase Goodies. This was the new release by um, With Thy Needle and Thread or Brenda Gervais Winter Rose Manor. Everybody got this recently because it just came out. It's kind of all the rage on social media right now. Um, and I started it, this is on a piece of 36 count. I think it's called Beach Brew by R&R. &R. Um, and I think I'm actually it goes, how did I start stitching it? It does go this way. So this is the top right, top right the corner. Here's the colors. It's just the call for floss. Except for the the snow. Um, the snow calls for roasted marshmallow by General Arts, and that's like a really mine's really yellow, the one I the, the one that came the one that I got. And so I'm probably gonna switch it to bamboo, but I need to get another skein of bamboo because it says it calls for two. Two skeins, but this is um, 36 count, one over two, one one, skein, one thread over two linen threads. One words. It's early. I said it was 7:30 in the morning. I just woke up and the house was quiet, and I was like, "Oh, I can film a video." My husband's going crazy hunting. Not going crazy, but he's doing a lot of hunting, trying to pull this. It's the rat, and he really wants to get a, a buck. So he basically hunts every minute he can. So that's why he was today. He woke up at four this morning. Anyways, um, this next one is sorry, I, it, it's a PDF that I I don't print my PDFs. So I don't have the cover photo. Um, this is a mystery cell called Christmas Cake. By Barbara Anna Designs. Um, you can get it online at creativepoppy.com. Um, and I finished part two. I really, this has been really fun to stitch. These little motifs are super cute and fun. And there's one more like tier to the cake. And then I think there's two more parts. So it'll probably be like half the tier, the other half or the bottom or something like that. Um, but yeah, this was part one, this is part two. I'm stitching it on a 28 count, I think it's called light khaki um, linen. I'm not sure who, who the, the um, manufacturer is. It's not swipe art because it doesn't have that little red or orange line. But I really, really like this linen. I wish I knew the manufacturer. It's like soft and um, I don't know, I just really like it. I really like it. This I got off a stash on mode as a like a scrap piece. Stitching it with the called for mostly the called for colors. I had to change out one of the reds 
because I didn't have the call for red. And then I'm not using the Krynic, I'm using DMC at all um, in this yellow C725. But I, I like that one. I um, ended up contacting Nipka Moscow on Instagram and requesting to order the two like trees. So one of them isn't released yet. It's like the Christmas tree by Barbara Anna Designs. And then she had like a tree of magic or something as the name. And instead of shipping, having paid shipping twice, they're, they're going to ship them both at the same time. So I'm excited about that. Um, I don't feel like I put much into this one since I showed you last time. This is Patchwork Crow by Heart and Hand. Um, yeah, I think I really just added the little crow. <laughs> um, this is stitched on a piece of 28 count picture. This plus Luvana. The color is Ren. Um, um, yeah. Two strands of floss over two linen threads. Um, this is, it feels tight. The weave, like, Everybody on Floss Tube says the weave of picture this plus is tight, and they are not lying, it is tight. Um, but, uh, okay, next is some hair. Um, that was all my whips. Kind of makes them look all because I started stuff right away. Alright, I'm going to create a little bit of space here. Um, okay, so. I ordered from um, Hollis Hand Creates, and now I can't remember. I ordered this pattern, and I ordered one other pattern, and now I can't remember what pattern it was. I must have kitted up right away. But anyway, this is for the perfect collection, February. Um, I don't know, I'm eventually going to get all the months. I have one that says winter. And I have the spring one. I have one that says October. But this month one is a whole series. And I like them. They're pretty big, so it won't be stitched anytime soon. I don't even know if I'll start this one this year. But I don't have a whole lot of, like, Valentine's early spring uh, stuff going. So I'll probably start it once I get over my Christmas stitching kick. Um, the next one I got is this new release by Brenda Gervais with I Needle and Thread. And I, I went ahead and just um, pulled my pulled a floss. I think it's probably just a conversion. I tried to get some of it called for, but and I'm gonna stitch it on this 32 count um, Witch's Brew by Be Stitch Me. It's like the perfect green. <laughs> Matches with Kermit. Kermit pretty well. Um, okay. Um, I, I had placed an order with 123Stitch. That's where I got all the threads and the turkey bait pattern. Um, and then just because these were in my cart for some unknown reason, I don't remember why. I just left them in there. This is a Krynik. Yeah, Krynik braid. It's a pretty, like, tealy color. And then this is a green leaves color by Silken, Silken Threads or something like that. It's a silk. I just thought the color was pretty. So, that goes. Um, this was a flash sale pattern on Fat Quarter Shop. Um, the John Thread Sunnyside Sampler. I really like all those houses. And I have, I've been wanting to try John Thread patterns because she has the, um, she has some specialty stitches. This one I don't know if it does. But this would be a good, like, summertime one to work on. So I'll probably, I'll probably kit it up at that time. I don't know if I'll leave the alphabet on there. I'm not a huge fan of alphabets. Um, and then I got this from um, 
needle case goodies on Etsy. It was it was a pre-order. This was a new release, Lila Studio Seasons Blessings. I'll probably sketch the fall one next year, but I kit kitted up the winter. Sorry about the glare. Um, and I just pulled floss from my stash. I'm gonna stitch it on this 18 count or 25 count shadow by Lori Holt. This is what I was gonna do that Christmas um, piece on, but I didn't like the stitching one over one. So I'm probably gonna start that right away pretty soon, and I'm gonna start the Mr. Marshmallow. Um, okay, and then I my let's see. From Threads and Twine, she offers color and cotton, um, a monthly shipment, like a monthly club, and you could get five skeins or ten skeins. I do the ten skein club. She shipped this back in early October and it got lost in the mail, so it finally arrived. But this is September's club, so probably not spoiling it for anybody. But, um, so I'll get to show this. It's hyacinth, ice, icy gray. I'm not gonna go through them. This is gunmetal. This is harvest wheat. This is hazel brown. Heather. Highlands. Uh, Holland Blue. Obviously, we're going in alphabetical order. Um, Holly Berry and Hunter. So I really like color and cotton threads, and where I, I have I've been kind of trying to kit stuff out from my stash and not necessarily use the called for colors. So um, that's been fun. And then. Let's see, this is a Be Stitch Me fabric. It was from Friday Night Fight Night two weeks ago. Um, this is a 36 count women. It's an unnamed color. It's pretty dark. It's not black. It's like a dark, dark brown. I think it was probably like a one-off from her coffee club that she died recently. Or that was recently a... Um, fabric of the month color and then I had placed an order with her probably close to two months ago for these as just like a special order um not special these were just on her website but I I think her turnaround time was about six weeks but this is Huckleberry it's a 36 count women I'm gonna stitch um uh Huckleberry Farm on this I had originally was just going to pull, I had like a pinky colored Ada in my stash that I was going to stitch it on, but I didn't, I sat down to start stitching and I didn't love the color with the, with the floss and everything. So I ended up ordering that color. It's not the called for, she died at four, that pattern, I believe. Um, the called for is like, uh, it's a picture of this plus something that, doesn't look super purple, but the cover photo of the pattern is really purple and I really like it. So last piece of haul is this um, dirty chalkboard, 28 count, yeah, 28 count linen um, that I just thought I would try because why not? Um, so that's all I have to share this week. I um, am hoping to work on some like embroidery. I have a, an embroidery machine. Um, I'm hoping to work on that this today while I'm off and hopefully I'll have like two pillows to show you next week. I just kind of got the, the bug, my four-year-old's awake. So that's all. Thank you for watching. If you like the video, go ahead and like and subscribe. Have a good day.